Hello, this is Norwich Job, and welcome back to my Norwich Green Mode series, and this is episode number two. Now, in this episode, we do have two friendly games, but just before we do that, we're going to try and sign the first new player of this new career mode series in FIFA 14. Now, this player is going to be a centre back, as you guys saw in the last episode. We're looking for new centre backs using the new scouting network, and we ended up looking at this guy, um, Joachim Van Dam. He plays in the Belgian Pro League. He's worth 525k, but we go ahead and offer 500k. As you guys saw in the last episode, he's got some pretty good stats for a 22 year old. He's got 86 strength, he's got good jumping, good heading, and he's also, I think, 6 foot 4. So, a pretty tall young centre back, which will be a you know, great signing for Norwich and really get rid of Turner, who's a little bit old now. But before we do that, guys, we do have a game up against Torino. Now, they are a pretty good um, side, they're a good sort of Serie A side. A lot of S's there, but yeah, they're going to be a pretty tough opponent. I do have a question for you guys. How hard do you think career mode is compared to 13? I'm playing this on world class, and I actually think it's a little bit easier than 13. And I just kind of think that the way the game is now, like the slower build up play, is just easier to defend. That's just my opinion. But if you guys have any different opinions on that, make sure to leave a comment down below. But this game wasn't the most exciting. I really couldn't break this guy down, or the computer down to be honest, he really couldn't break me down, we ended up just crossing the ball and I managed to clear that one quite easily and we go on for a little counter attack here, Van Vorswinkel plays it into Gary Hooper, we go ahead and play that into Bradley Johnson, we tried the over the top for ball that was supposed to go to the guy furthest, you know, down the pitch you guys saw who I was looking at, um, but in the end they go ahead and cross the ball after that and that actually could have gone in but a great little flick header. And they go ahead and try some crazy corner technique, play it short, and I don't know what that was, but John Brady easily claims that. Then after that, they do have a chance here. They played the ball, nice bit of passing play, good tackle from Bennett, and then they nearly get a chance. I don't know what John Brady was doing there, but look at that pass there from Garrido. Plays it right into Van Vorswinkel, and then play it into uh, Redmond. And looking back on that now, I probably should have switched it to Hooper, who could have been thrown cold, but I try and pace it, and it didn't work. But after that, we make a triple substitution, we bring on Houlihan, Pilkington and Elmanda, so some attacking players trying to, you know, at least get a goal in this game, but it just did not work. We go ahead and draw the game 0-0, so I'm not too disappointed with that, I could have, um, you know, easily lost that game, so overall not a bad game. And now guys, in the moment, you've all been waiting for the first new signing of my Norwich Green Mode series, so we go ahead and sign Van Damme, 3000 a week on a four year deal, so he wants a squad rotation player, that means he doesn't really mind too much if he's not playing every single game, which I don't really mind too much. And then we have a look at his rating, he's a 63 rated centre back, only 22, and I don't know, I'm not really too disappointed because he hasn't got the best amount of pace, he's already got good strength and he is pretty tall as well. And yeah, that's kind of like um, a bit more anticipation, you don't know what his rating is, you're going to have a look, have you signed a player who's already highly rated, all that kind of stuff, so I really do like the way the scouting network is set up in P14. After this though, we do have a game up against FC Nantes and what a ball there from Van Vorsmeer. He's trying to get in the box, but we do see Bradley Johnson there. We do a low cross. I think that was a double X tap cross and we go ahead and score the goal with Bradley Johnson. He gets his first goal of the game. Really, really good play. A nice pass from Van Vorsmeer called starting off and just a good play from uh, Whittaker and the whole team basically to make that 1-0 to me. And after they do have a chance here, and just look at this guys, how did that guy keep that on? I have no idea. They go ahead and cross the ball, but nothing came of that. And then after that guys, they start off a counter attack in the 82nd minute. And this was frustrating because I was playing really, really well in this game. I got the early lead and then suddenly they do this. They go ahead and cross the ball. John Ruddy, he just stood there and didn't even move towards the ball. Eventually... He made some effort of trying to save it, but by the time he did that, the ball was already in the back of the net. So, pretty poor keeping from my keeper, in my opinion, and you guys may have anything different to say on that goal. But, overall guys, two draws in two friendly games, that could be a lot worse. We could have got two losses. So overall, not too bad. And sorry guys, this is quite a short episode. I've been quite busy with A-level, photography, doing presentations, all of that kind of stuff. So, sorry about this short episode, but thanks for watching guys. Any comments on this episode would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys there, see you there.